I studied biochemistry and found neuroscience really interesting and sort of coinciding with that my granddad developed dementia and seeing him go through the later stages of the disease is kind of my driving force to do the research that I do. At the moment the drugs that we have aim to treat something symptomatic but we don't have anything that can modify the way that the disease progresses. So we need to understand the disease much better before we can start really developing these drugs that are going to prevent the disease from progressing into its devastating later stages. For me, a really exciting development in dementia has been the identification of the gene mutation that's called c 9 of 72 which has now been found to be the most common mutation in frontotemporal dementia and it's led to a really big explosion in research and it's just been amazing to be part of. Dementia is one of the largest challenges that we face in the developed world in terms of healthcare. I think dementia strikes at the very core essence of who we are as a person and indeed there are very few therapies that even make a slight difference so this is something that we need to tackle. I'm hoping that my colleagues and I really do make an advance and that we're able to have a healthier, fitter, active old age in which we're able to contribute to society in an ongoing fashion. I'm confident with the rapid advances in medical science and new therapeutic tools that we're getting that we will make a difference.